what's going on everybody let's talk about the current situation tropical storm debbie she won't move she's sitting there churning off the coast i think she moved a little bit i'm inland i'm not on the coast so i'm gonna get those heavy rain bands that come out ahead of it and um you know i got some quirky things about my house that is going to make this interesting you know you know i i Water collects here, it gets up on the porch. We'll see what the 5.30 update has to say. It's about 4.40 right now at the time of recording this. And I'll post a picture of the weather track if I think about it when I go to do the quick edit and upload. Wind hasn't been much of a problem up to this point, but that's gonna come back later, I'm sure. Rain, we had a heavy rain come through a little bit earlier. That's where the water has started to really collect. You know, I worry about the cars. As long as the wind keeps doesn't kick up, it shouldn't be that big a deal. My main concern uh, is actually with, with the LT1. Now, here's Dirty Daily. He's just hanging out. He's like, I'm okay. But in the carport where I, I keep Bruce, an interesting quirky thing, uh, you saw the thing about where the water collects up there. And you may have noticed, but here, you see, I dry up, my carport goes down, and we're already collecting water. And this would happen on a, this would happen on an ordinary heavy rain. Now, I don't think we're going to get the 20 inches that had been originally forecasted, but there's going to be several more inches, I think. And I think I'm just going to have to set an alarm overnight sometime, depending on how it looks like this thing's going to shake up. I'll get up and check things, and I'll probably end up having to have move the car out here. And we're, we'll, move, we'll move the dirty daily in a second to make room for, for Bruce. Like I said, I don't think wind is going to be a big, huge concern, but there will be gusts, probably, you know, some 30-plus mile-an-hour gusts. If we look out here, we look at what I got. I mean, I got these tall, I think these are loblolly pines. Hell, that one up there, there's like, it's probably 100 feet tall. I don't know. Now, these, those have deep root systems, so that's not likely, the whole tree itself isn't likely to come down, but they'll drop a limb in a heartbeat, and one of those limbs caught with a 30 mile an hour gust, if it hits something, you know, it might be a chance I'm gonna have to take versus letting the, interior get flooded out because of rising waters lesser of two evils i think oh oh no there's not really rain that's just wind blowing rain out of the trees i mean it's going to get worse especially for everybody down in the charleston area i mean if you're in the charleston area you're a camaro owner and happen to catch this video before uh power goes out or whatever drop a comment let me know how you're prepping how are you doing uh, obviously you got to take care of your family first, property comes second, but if the opportunity comes to take care of these cars, please do so since GM ain't making them anymore at the moment until they go EV, whatever. Before I lollygag too much, let's get in here and let's, let's move the dirty daily. So there'll be room for Bruce to come out. Don't judge me if you see the car is dirty. It does seem like I got a new GoPro right on time, though. I was out of town last week. I was out of town last week at the beach. I didn't want to take it in the beach water, though. So that probably wouldn't work very well without the case. All right. Oh. Yep, that'll do it. All right, dirty daily. Uh, Take care of out here. Got a spot right here to back the LT1 out if needed. That's it, little buddy. You'll make it. That'll get more full later. <laughs> All right. 
wish us all luck and everybody ahead of us North Carolina moving into the Northeast get ready now protect your cars if you have a chance but until the aftermath I'm JR and I am out